Hi everyone! In this video I will be demonstrating how easy it is to scan and patch the machines in your organization. So let's get started. A patch scan can be initiated from several different locations. One of the most convenient locations is the agentless operation dialog which you access from the home page. You simply select the machine group you want to scan choose how and when you want the scan performed, and then click Scan Now. For the moment, I'll hold off on clicking Scan Now in order to show you another method for initiating a patch scan. For example, you may want to remind yourself which machines are contained in a group before performing a scan. To do this, simply select the machine group. You can see which machines are in the group by looking in the bottom pane. For this tutorial, we have a simple group containing six machines. When you are ready to initiate the patch scan, click Run Operation. You can choose a scan template to specify how the scan should be performed, and you can also specify when you want the scan to be performed. There are also some advanced options available that allow you to automatically stage and execute a patch deployment package following a scan but I'll cover those options in a separate video. To begin the patch scan, simply click Scan Now. You can monitor the progress of the patch scan using the Operations Monitor. During the scan, the program will check for and download the latest data definition files. It will locate the target machines and access them using credentials that you provided and then it will scan the machines using the rules defined by your scan template. When the patch scan process is complete, you can review the results by clicking View Results. The scan results are displayed within ScanView. ScanView consists of three distinct panes. The top pane identifies the machines that were scanned, and it provides detailed information about each machine. For example, this column provides a visual representation of the patch health of each machine. You can quickly see that only one of our test machines is relatively patch healthy. In this column, the operating system names for two of the machines are displayed in red. This indicates that the operating system has reached its end-of-life phase, and the vendor will be limiting its support for the product. Details about the installed and missing patches on each machine are displayed in the middle pane. Because six machines are selected in the top pane, the middle pane is showing collective status information for all six of the machines. If I select one of the patches, I can view more detailed information about it in the bottom pane. By looking in the Affected Machine Count column, I know that one of my six machines is missing this particular patch. I can determine exactly which machine is missing this patch by selecting the Affected Machines tab. Similarly, I can see that two of my machines are missing a SQL Server product level. To determine which two machines, I simply have to select the product level patch. Next. Let me show you how easy it is to deploy a patch. Let's say that I am interested in deploying a few of the most critical patches to two of my 2012 server machines. I can sort the missing patches by their CVSS score to quickly locate the most critical patches. For this example, let's deploy the three most current patches. To deploy the patches, you simply select them and then use the right-click menu. If needed, assign the correct credentials when prompted. When you initiate a patch deployment, the Deployment Configuration dialog is displayed. This dialog enables you to specify how and when the patches will be deployed. For this tutorial, I'll elect to install the patches right now. 
The operations monitor shows the status of the steps in the deployment process. The patches are first downloaded, and then the patch signatures are verified. The deployment packages are created, and the files are then copied to the target machines. At this point, from the Council's point of view, the deployment is complete. The patches have been copied to the target machines and are scheduled for execution. If you want, you can use the deployment tracker to monitor the status of the actual installation on the target machines. And that concludes this video. For more information about Ivanti Security Controls or any of our other products, see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.